0.80 Kelvin. Hello everybody, welcome back to video 8.2 in this series. So this video is going to be all about importing Mixmo animations into iClone. And it's actually pretty straightforward and easy with the caveat that you are going to have to own 3D Exchange. Because um, as far as I know, that's the only way you can do this. Um, you can get away with the Pro version which mainly concerns itself with importing stuff into iClone. So you don't have to pay for the much more expensive um, pipeline version, which also exports stuff out of iClone. Um, although if you're gonna go through the trouble of an expensive buying 3D Exchange, you might as well get the more expensive one because sooner or later you're gonna want that functionality anyway, I would assume. Um, but anyway, with that, you know, caveat behind us. Let's get started here. So first of all, you're going to want to, um, you know, pop on over to the Mixamo site. And uh, you're going to have to pick a character. So there's two characters you can use um, that I know work and it, this whole process is designed for. It's either the Xbot or the Ybot. So you can go to characters here and just type in um, either X or Y. So if you're looking for the the female-ish robot, you can click her, and for some reason she's not showing up. Awesome. Let's just reload. There we go. Um, so now we got our X bot, and if you have a male character type thing, um, you can use the Y bot. I don't know that it necessarily matters, um, but we'll use the the Y bot for this because we're going to be assigning this to a male character. Uh, but I think it will work with either one for the process. Uh, now let's go to animations and let's find me a good animation here. Um, so let's just let's just let's just go for dance stuff and uh, we're going to apply a nice uh, embarrassing dance of some sort. Hey, there we go. With some cool moves. All right, let's do let's do that. Why not? Okay, so we'll do hip hop. So you find your animation, uh, and you're with your either the Y bot or X bot loaded up here, and we're going to go to download. We want the FBX with the skin. You can. Choose either 60 or 30 here. I normally just go with 30 frames a second, and that's just how many keyframes per second this will, you know, come through as. Um, so even though iClone animates to 60 frames a second, we don't necessarily need all 60 keyframes. We can let it interpolate in between every other one. So, um, you know, I'm just going to do. I normally just do 30, and that's. I think that's sufficient. So we'll download it. Save our file. I have a folder just for that stuff. We'll do hip hop dancing. That sounds fine. Save. Okay, we've saved. So we're good with this now. So then you're going to want to load up a character in iClone. We have uh, our, this handsome devil right here we're going to use as our demonstration model. So he's loaded up, and you want to make sure he is selected. Uh, so whatever character you want the animation to apply to needs to be selected in the scene. So, and then we're going to load up 3D Exchange to do the conversion. So we open up our hip hop dancing.fbx. I'm going to make sure that import animation is checked. And it will no it will Automatically, it will automatically recognize that it's a Mixamo uh, character, and it'll convert over the the bone structure and everything over to um, our iClone character. Um, this is 
saying basically it can it can apply these different um, expressions to our character that we're importing in. We don't really need that or care about that, so we're just going to say no here. Okay, so we got our bot here, and if you know, notice over here on the left-hand side, if you scroll down, you'll have at the uh, under the animation section, you'll have two animations. The first one is really nothing. It's just a T-pose, so it's not useful. But if you click on the second one, you'll notice it's the beginning of our animation. We can press play and preview our, our thing, and we can see that it looks like it transferred over just fine, which is good. So interestingly enough, we could actually use him right as a character if we wanted to, but we just want to apply this these animations or this animation to our character so all we're going to do with is with this guy selected over here in iClone we're just going and this animation selected in 3d exchange we're going to click on apply to iClone and that is my friends is it we have zapped it over to iClone and we're done so now i can press play and now this guy's doing the robot dancey thing. Moonwalking and everything. Very nice. Whoa. There you go. So it's really that easy. Uh, hopefully this helped you out if you're looking for how to do it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers. This video brought to you by BrianKramerBooks.com. BrianKramerBooks.com for all your humorous science fiction needs.